Hey, if you're a Mets fan, you guys are living off a high right now. Steve Cohen, the owner of the Mets. I don't normally pocket watch, but this dude has a net worth of $16 billion. The only reason why I know that is because on Twitter, it is getting tossed around constantly because he is signing everybody pretty much. A couple days ago, along with his GMs, but it, I think it's pretty much him. He went out on a gigantic spending spree. He signed Stella Marte to a contract. He signed Eduardo Escobar to a contract. That one was a very, very smart move. He also signed Mark Canna in that same day. Another great move for the Mets. A couple days after that, there were a little bit of rumblings around LB Twitter basically saying like, hey, the Mets, they might be getting Max Scherzer, bro. And pretty much everybody, including myself on baseball Twitter, were like, yo, I swear to God, if the Mets actually get Scherzer, they're gonna by far have the best one-two combo in baseball for pitching. Now imagine you're any team in the NL basically, and on night one, you have to go against Jacob DeGrom. So you're pretty much already chalked for game one unless the Mets offense is not good, but now they just got new additions to their offense. They're gonna be good. And then night two, when you're normally like, okay, yeah, the Mets are gonna drop off heavily. They got Max freaking Scherzer out there. Definitely not gonna be fun for the NL. I'm just happy that the team that I like, the Rays is in the AL, far, far away from the Mets. So let's go ahead and rebuild them and see how they do. Let's go and get into it. And here we are right now from the Mets. They are ranked seventh overall in the entire MLB with the third best pitching staff. If we check their rotation, I don't even wanna see this because this is gonna be the first time that I see Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer on the same team. But here we go. Oh my. Bro, why? Literally, why? Why did anybody let this happen? If these two can actually stay healthy, oh my, the NL's screwed. The NL's actually screwed. They got a decent chance with the other three, but I mean, to be honest, these guys aren't that bad either. Now, the running joke for the Mets has always been the run support for Jacob DeGrom because he gets nothing, basically. It seems like every single time Jacob DeGrom pitches, he pitches a fantastic game, but the offense scores like one, two, or maybe three runs. And then once Jacob DeGrom's out of the game, the bullpen gives up the rest of the game. That's just basically how the Mets have been operating since like about 2016, I'd say. And the whole thing is that the lineup just always chokes. Now, though, I don't know if that's going to happen. It's still a little too early to call that because now we're going to be having people like Stella Marte on the team, Mark Canna, and Eduardo Escobar. Those three alone are gigantic upgrades over the guys that they had before. As long as one, everybody can stay healthy with the Mets because that's always the biggest thing. And two, if Lindor and a couple other guys can have bounce back seasons and big bounce back seasons, I mean, I think they're easily going to take the NL East pretty much. If that can happen, they're easily taking the NL East. Now, let's see if that's actually going to happen because right now I'm not sure. Sure. I'll see you guys around the trade line and let's see what type of record we got. And just like I was thinking, July 31st, 2021, the Mets are not messing around one bit, bro. We are 62 and 42 right now. We are kicking the crap out of everybody. I will say one of the big things, if I go ahead and check it right now, is Jonathan VR actually playing second base. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like it. Obviously, for now, we still got Jeff McNeil. I could put him over at second base. But to be honest, I'm thinking that we go out and just get a better second baseman. Like, if we truly want to dominate, I'm thinking second base is where we're going to do it. Because right now with the trade talks, it says that we need help at second base and right Right field. In my opinion, right field, not so much. It's covered right now by Eduardo Escobar. He's not a true right fielder, and right now he's got a 224 average, but overall he's still doing good. So to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. Also, don't worry about the budget. That's just how the Mets are right now. There's legit nothing you can do for the Mets because they have broken over the show's budget system. I swear. The Mets and the Dodgers both have broken this game so bad. Look at that. Oh my God. That useless Bauer contract is killing them right now in this game. Either way, back to second base. Let's go and get a second baseman real quick. There are a boatload of options that we can go with, but I got a couple that I think are gonna be perfect. The first option that we got is actually gonna be Gavin Lux from the Dodgers. The reason why is because I feel like this dude is very underappreciated right now. Plus he hasn't really done all that great in the MLB so far. And if the Dodgers go ahead and sign Trey Turner to like an extension or anything, I really don't know how long Gavin Lux is gonna stay in the Dodgers. Unless the Dodgers have a boatload of faith in Lux over at shortstop or third base, I really don't know if he's gonna stay there. He's gonna be one of those guys in my opinion that people say like, yo, the guy's a bust. Like, he's not going to be all that great. Then the second that the Dodgers trade him, he goes and balls out somewhere else. So the guy's definitely an option, and we could definitely get him. The next option I'm thinking of is actually Colton Wong. If the Brewers aren't competitive next year, I'm thinking Colton Wong might be on the table. And to be honest, I think he does very, very well over here in the Mets uniform. Like, if he honestly joined up with us, I think it'd be perfect. So again, that's another option in second base. And the last one is actually Hori Polanco. Mostly because I love Hori Polanco. This dude for me is so, so good. And honestly, whenever I can get him, I always try to because he's honestly one of the best. Especially in the postseason. If you guys want to get a good second baseman, get Hori Polanco. I think realistically though, I think Colton Wong for right now is going to be the best for us. So honestly, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's see if I can get him. It really shouldn't be crazy and there we go. We got him. All right, perfect. Again, the only way that this would work is that the Brewers just suck next year, which I don't think is going to happen, but here we go. Colton Wong's here now and to be honest, I'm really liking it. We take second base from 23rd to 7th, so I mean, come on. It's great. Let's go ahead and keep the Mets here going. Let's keep winning, hopefully. And I'll see you guys in deep September. Let's go ahead and get there and let's see how good we can do before this postseason. 569 seconds later. Yeah, this team is absolutely busted. Right now, they finish off 99-63 and winning their division. Let's go, baby! Facing the Brewers, by the way, of course. 
Real quick, I gotta check the awards. Who won the Cy Young this year? First off, Colton Wong and Eduardo for the gold gloves. We actually just stole both of them from the Brewers, now that I think about it. Okay, either way. No. Don't like that. It's gonna be none of us, actually. So Marte won the Silver Slugger, there we go. We had to come in second and third, right? Actually, no, Corbin Burns just balled out. Hey, I gotta give it to you, bro. You did great. Jacob deGrom came in second, and where the heck is Max Scherzer? What happened to him? If a guy like Clevenger is in third place with a 3.76, something bad happened. Max, where are you? You're already in 88. Oh God, what happened, bro? You had a decent year. What the, hey. The guy had to come in, what, fourth, I'm guessing, at this point? The guy finished off 12 and 9, 206 innings pitched, 182 strikeouts, and a 3.76. Definitely not bad. He's getting up there in age, but still, very, very good. And of course, the Grom is just a Grom. He's so good. Also, a guy that really doesn't get that much praise is David Peterson. This guy balled out as well. So good job to everybody. Let's go, dude. If I take a look at the lineup, we got Francisco Lindor. Not terrible, but I want this guy to come back heavily, please. Like, come on, bro. What happened? Ever since the guy left Cleveland, he has not been the same. So please, just get back to normal basically. After that, J.D. Davis, still very, very good. Stella Marte, oh my god, look at that average, bro. Stella Marte, ladies and gentlemen, right there. So, so good. Pete Alonso, 37 bombs, 126. Big Meat Pete is back. Colton Wong, not bad for a second base. Mark Canna, very, very good. Eduardo, 34 bombs, 106 RBIs for the dude. Moving on to the postseason now, we got the Brewers that we got to fight. I don't exactly know how strong the rest of our entire starting rotation is, but it's basically going to get tested here. The postseason is definitely the litmus test for our entire rotation. Let's go ahead and see how we do. Dude, Grom versus Corbin Burns. This is going to be huge right here. And we won that one. Wow. Next up, Max Scherzer versus Brandon Woodruff. Won that one 7 to 2 as well. And then game three, David Peterson versus Freddie Peralta. Won that one 8 to 3. Let's go, baby. Great showing. All right, the Dodgers now. Here we go. This is going to be big. Probably the two best teams right now in this game for the NL. This is going to be a fight. Not to mention Max Scherzer going back to his old team, I guess, for half a season. Either way, though, game one, Jacob DeGrom versus Walker Buehler. Again, massive. Here we go. Lost that one by three. Game two, let's bring it back. Max Scherzer versus Julio. Lost that one as well. David Peterson versus Dustin May. Lost that one as well. And this is going to be our first time seeing Carlos Carrasco. Let's go, Cookie. Against Postseason and Kershaw. Won that one. There we go. And we got smacked with Jacob DeGrom back on the mound. Alrighty. Well, hey, that's the litmus test right there. The only problem is Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer let us both down. Wow, Max Scherzer, you suck, bro. What the heck? An eight year A? Yeah, the two big boys let us down heavily as the Dodgers beat the White Sox. So there we go. To be honest, I wasn't expecting the big boys to let me down. I was expecting than everybody else to. Well, okay, do I gotta help the other guys even more? Hey, let's go and help them, I guess, if they really need it. Let's go ahead and do it. Real quick, though, for the exclusives, I gotta get all these guys back, basically. Pretty much everybody except for the bottom half, like Cameron Maven and all these guys. I'm not getting those dudes back, but everybody else, I gotta get them. After that, we can go ahead, what the heck, Josh Donaldson going to the Reds? Okay. But we can go ahead and move on now to the free agents, and let's go ahead and get this thing going, baby. For this entire free agency, we're not gonna be getting that many people because everybody else, to keep it realistic, is going to way different teams than the Mets. They're just Gotta be honest. People like Carlos Rodon, I really don't see him going to the Mets. People like Noah Syndergaard, already on the Angels. Playing Kershaw, I don't think he's ever gonna go to the Mets. So we really can't get anybody here. The only guys that I'm personally gonna be getting is Travis back here and then Jimmy Nelson. That's it. But for 2022, we're basically gonna be able to get whoever I want and whatever I want to upgrade. So it's gonna be nice in that year. But for now, can't really do much. Playing Kershaw though, going to the Red Sox, I do not like that. Also, Rodon going to the Reds, don't like that either. And then Syndergaard, guys, why? What's going? Why are the Reds just going nuts? Correa going to the Twins. This is so just messed up. What type of augmented reality did I get into? Because I don't like it. Send me back home. Either way, we got everybody that I wanted. Let's just go ahead and get into 2022. All right, here we go. 2022, right now we are coming as the fourth best team in the entire MLB. And basically, we just got to get this year going, see how we do. And I'll see you guys in the trade line. 569 seconds later. And hey, here we go again. July 31st, 2022. We're 62 and 35 at the top of the NL East. Let's go, baby. I mean, if I take just a quick overview over everybody, we are chilling. Like, we're absolutely fine. Francisco Lindor looks to finally be back. Mark is still doing great. Eduardo still doing okay. Pete Alonso still doing good over there at first base. Center field, Sal Marte, okay. Hey, J.D. Davis being a beast over at third base. We're doing very, very well. I mean, just because I can, I'm still going to look at the trade block, but I think we're okay. Like, if we really want to keep moving, I think we'll be able to. But I do want to see, just because Will Smith is here, what do they exactly want for him? Because I will be down to get him if I can. I mean, I can definitely get rid of Tomas if I really need to. And oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. You're not about to let me do this, right? There's literally no freaking way that they do this. Oh my God. Yes. Just yes. Give me Will Smith. This game's so dumb. We got Will Smith in here now. Holy crap. Yeah, we're good. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Oh my God. And oh my God, this team is even better than last year 
Joker 104 and 58 when we take our division once again. This time taking on the winner of the wild card game, meaning that we finish off the best in the National League. Let's go and check these awards real quick just because I need to. Max Scherzer, there we go. The Cy Young. And then, hey, the new guy, Will Smith with a gold glove. Let's go, baby. And look at this. This is a beautiful sight. I'm so happy to see this. Max Scherzer and Jacob DeGrom, one and two for the Cy Young. Even though I do think just because Max Scherzer had a 1.99 ERA, which is great, I still think Jacob DeGrom probably should have won that just because of the 253 strikeouts. Oh my God. Jacob DeGrom also had a way better K per nine. He gave up less home runs. I had a better fit, but you know, whatever. This game's just broken. Everybody else though, because of course I got to check it. Colton Wong over there at second base. Again, the 251 is not great, but for, I guess the leadoff guy, it's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. As long as the guy's getting RBIs and getting on base a little bit, it's okay. Mark Hanna next, a very, very good addition for this entire team. Dylan Marte, again, the exact same thing. Pete Alonzo, again, big meat Pete, love it. Will Smith, I don't even know how the heck they let me do this, but I'm happy that he's here. Eduardo Escobar, look at that. Don't even worry about the average with him because this is gonna be very, very good for the postseason. Francisco Lindor, he's somewhat back. And to be honest, that's pretty much it. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about this year coming in is actually the bullpen because I want to see how they're going to actually hold up. If they don't hold up too good, I'm just going to be spending a boatload of money on fixing this. I mean, they could surprise me. Let's go ahead and check real quick. We facing the Braves. Here we go versus Atlanta. DeGrom versus Max Free. This is again a very, very big game. Game one, let's go. And we lost it by one. Okay. Looks like the bullpen gave it up. That is not a good start. Next up, Scherzer versus Ian Anderson. Won that one. There we are. David Peterson going up game three against Mike. Mike Soroka, this is gonna be big, and lost it by one. Jacob DeGrom versus Huskar, won that one, oh my god, and then Max Scherzer going up against Max Freed. Come on, baby! And got smacked. Scherzer, you are letting me down so heavy, dude. A 6.3 in the postseason. Had an 8 year A last year. This dude cannot get it under control for the postseason, which makes no sense. We get beat out by the wildcard team, the Braves. Again, you guys are nuts. They're going to win it? Of course they do. The Braves beat the Twins in 2022. Of course, dude. Of course. Like, that's just how it's going to be. Hey, yo, why is Aaron Judge out here? Don't tell me that the Yankees are going to let this guy leave because I will swoop in and sign the man. I feel like one of the things, and I think even if we check the trade talks, yeah, right field is still struggling pretty much and it's not that big of a deal because eduardo's gonna be covering it and the guy is pretty decent at it but if i can have aaron judge out there of course it's gonna be better not to mention over there with aaron judge he has the potential of hitting 40 home runs a season that's gigantic for the offense so this year with the offers we got aaron judge of course Got Edwin Diaz hopefully coming back here. We got Ryan Pressey. He's going to be big for the bullpen. We got Jameson Tyon also trying to come over here. We've been missing out on like our Marcus Stroman basically since he went to the Cubs. So I'm just going to give Tyon a chance. We'll see how it goes. And then we're also going to be trying to get Ryan Tapera or Ryan Tapera. Besides that, that's basically it. As J-Ram goes to the Giants, Aaron Judge, they'll come to the Mets. There we go. Yankees fans are... Not happy. I'll say that. We also get James and Tyon. This is beautiful. Did we get Preston and everybody else? Wow, we got everybody. All right. Yeah, I will see you guys in 2023. Let's go. I think a lot of Mets fans are going to be just kind of spoiled for a long time because Steve just can buy whoever. But let me tell you guys, it is incredibly nice just being able to get whoever you want to an extent because he's not going to have unlimited money, not going to make a lot of dumb moves. But it is nice to be able to get whoever you want basically without having a gigantic money problem. All right, here we are again, 2023. This time around, we are third place in the MLB. First in Contact ninth and power. I think that's going to be changing. And then fifth and pitching, actually. Wow, what happened? How did pitching get worse? We got James and Tyon in here now. Not to mention Presley, a bunch of other guys in the bullpen. I think that's also going to be changing quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. Let's see how we deal again by the trade line. Bing bong, we're 65 and 34, baby. Oh my God. 12 games above the Braves, 13 and a half above the Phillies, 23 and a half above the Marlins. Oh my goodness. Amazing for us. If I go ahead and check everything though, real quick, I have one thing that I feel like we got to do. And that's get rid of Trevor May. I'm sorry. I love to do it as a streamer, as a content creator. But for some reason this year, the guy forgot how to pitch. So I'm going to go ahead and get a very, very good guy to replace him. And hopefully the guy that I get is going to help us quite a bit in the postseason. That's going to be the gigantic thing for me. If they can do good in the postseason, I am so down to get them. And there we go. Giovanni Gallegos, baby. We're bringing him to New York. I like that quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get him. And there we are. Oh my God. We, we somehow got better. I don't know how we did it, but we did. So the bullpen now has Carlos Carrasco as the long reliever, who's doing great. We got Seth Lugo, Jonathan Hernandez, Brad Hand, who again, Brad Hand just sucks. Giovanni Gaia goes in here now, Ryan Presley and Edwin Diaz. For the lineups, Aaron Judge is doing good. Pete Alonzo, look at this, by the way. This combo, oh my God. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. I love this team, I gotta be honest. I really do. I like how well this team's actually built and I like the foundations that they actually have. Now, in real life, there obviously could be a couple problems, but for this game, I'm really liking the team. Let's go ahead and see how we finish out and hopefully this time we can do better in the postseason. Let's go. And this year, we still finish off great. One or two and 16, we take our division once again, three times in a row. What are our awards looking like? We got four of them, Jacob McGrom first, 
Power stuff for the Cy Young. He's looking like he won the MVP as well, did he? Aaron Judge with the gold glove and Jacob DeGrom with the MVP. Holy guys, this dude isn't human, I swear to God. And then Marte again with the Silver Slugger. I don't think Jacob DeGrom is actually human. A below two ERA out of how many innings? 233. How? How do you actually do this? Oh crap, he's gonna be free agent after this year. Okay, yeah, we gotta win, okay? We definitely gotta win. When this guy's a free agent, he is by far gonna be the highest paid free agent of possibly all time. If Jacob deGrom actually shows up these next couple of years that he can be very, very durable, he's gonna be about 34, 35 by the time that he hits free agency, at least for this game, for what it says. I don't know about his real contract, but would Jacob deGrom be the first $50 million a year pitcher? If so, that's crazy, but yeah, $50 million a year, possibly. That is ridiculous. Either way, a Again, everybody here did so, so good. Aaron Judge with 32 home runs. Basically did exactly what I needed him to do. Pete Alonso almost 40. Again, everybody here was doing what I needed them to do. I love it. Who are we facing this time around? It's going to be Atlanta again. Once again, Jacob DeGrom coming in here. But this time around, we have a different type of rotation. It's still the same guys. This is a different order. So this time we got Jacob DeGrom going first. Then we got David Peterson. After that, we're going to have Jameson Tyon and then Max Scherzer. I want to see how that's going to go. So here we are. DeGrom, let's go, baby. Game one, won that one. Next up, David Peterson, game two. Won that one as well. Jameson Sion versus Mike Soroka for game three and won that. Perfect. So far, everything's going to plan. Knock on wood. Versus the Reds now in the NLCS. Jacob DeGrom versus Carlos Rodon. Lost that one by a whole lot. Oh no. Game two, David Peterson versus Noah Syndergaard actually. Well, okay, who's going to win this one? They are. Okay, Jameson Sion versus John Means. Won that one. Going up again is Jacob DeGrom versus Luis Castillo. Won that one. Then Joey Lucchesi versus Tyler Molly. You know what? Screw it. In the past, he's done very, very well for me. Let's hope he can continue that. And lost it by one. Actually, so close. All right. David Peterson versus Noah Syndergaard. Please, David, do good. Won that one by one. And then Trevor Williams versus Carlos Rodon. That is not happening. I'm sorry, but that is not freaking happening. I don't care if Jacob DeGrom is a 7.71 ERA. I know how good the guy is. And I know how good the potential can be. So I got to pitch DeGrom. Versus someone like Rodon, who's got a 0.77 ERA. Actually, wait, DeGrom's energy's not all the way up. Oh my God, we're actually going to have to pitch Trevor Williams. Okay, I know what I'm doing. If everything goes bad, I'm switching it to DeGrom. If that goes bad, to tie on. If that goes bad to Max Scherzer, and then the bullpen. Come on, Trevor, don't let me down here, please. Let's go, boys. I need everybody to hit. I need everything to go over very, very well, okay? If we're gonna have a great game, it's gotta be now. Let's see how we do. There we go, Eduardo Escobar with a two-round bomb. Putting us ahead. Let's just make sure we hold on to that Trevor Williams. You can't do anything, can you? All right, DeGrom, get in there. Let's go. I need DeGrom to be in there. What are, what's with all these singles that he's giving up? I need DeGrom to be completely dialed in, and I need us to hit a little bit more. Come on, we got two hits right now. That's a double from Judge, that's a good start. Pete Alonzo, strikeout. Okay. Dominic Smith, round out. Eduardo. Oh my God. All right, now we got to switch it to Scherzer. Here we go, baby. Come on. That's two singles. Okay, we got out of it. Bottom of the eighth, I can't let Scherzer hit. I just can't do it. In my heart, I can't let it happen. Mark Canna, please. And that's a ground out. Guys, we're really not about to do this. We're not about to get three hit by the Cincinnati Reds. They got Lucas Sims up here now. Come on, boys. Stella Marte, bottom of the ninth. Let's go. Ground out. Colton Wong, bottom of the ninth. Let's go. Fly out. Aaron Judge, single. P. Alonzo, come on. That's a single two. Dominic Smith, it all comes down to you. Please be the savior. Another ground out. Oh my God. Radon just had our number the entire time. We come so close and then lose it. And the Twins beat the Reds this time around. We got to go again. Let's do it. All right, I'm sick of not making it very far. Right now on the budget, we got room. I'm doing it. Julio Arias is going to be coming over here for the Mets. We got not only him, but Josh Hader as well coming over for the Mets. And that's basically going to be it. Our entire offense is still locked up. We're good. We just need those two pieces. And I feel like we're going to be in a great spot after that. Josh Hader already over here. And as long as we can get Julio, we're going to be very, very good. Come on, Julio. Come on over. Over. And there he is, Julio Arias. Perfect. 2024, here we come. I'm going with a vengeance right now, okay? We cannot be beaten down with this team so much and not at least make it to the World Series. All right, let's go. Here we go, baby. This is what I like to see. In first place with not only rank, but contact and pitching, and then third in power. Not bad at all if I say so myself. Let's go ahead and get this thing going, and I will see you guys again at the trade line. And here we are again. Same day, different year, at the top once again at the NL East. Looking at everything once again this year. We do not need any fixes. Let's keep this here going, and again, let's run this thing. The world series come on and there we go that's what i like to see this year we finish off the best we've ever done 109 and 53 and again for the fourth year straight winning our division i obviously gotta check it cy young going to jacob de grom and then jd davis actually with the gold glove let's see how these boys do versus the dodgers wow all right here we go jacob de grom versus dustin may for game one lost that one by one okay david peterson versus tony lost that one as well and then julio versus walker bueller 
Okay, well, I don't think we can get any better, but unfortunately we have nothing to show for it. That is the problem. This straight up must be the Mets curse. Josh Hader did fantastic the entire year. Had below a 2.3 ERA the entire season. Goes to the postseason, gets a 27. Just, you know, whatever. David Peterson, again, puts a 2.4 ERA season in. Just out of three innings, has a 9.82. And then Trevor Williams pitched a great game, but we just lost it because it was close. We honestly just needed just a tiny, tiny bit of good luck. How did everybody do here? Stella Marte, 0 for 11. Aaron Judge, like 1 for 12. Pete Alonzo did okay. Will Smith did good. JD did okay. Everything else, Frankie Lindor, what are you doing? Just a couple of the guys needed to hit, and a couple of the guys in the rotation just needed to get work done, and they couldn't. Who's winning this year? The Dodgers actually she beat the Tigers in 2024. There we go. Honestly, I would love to go for another year, but I got wisdom teeth surgery actually in the morning, so it's going to be a little bit crazy. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's already done. And honestly, I'm thinking about doing a rebuild on this game while just completely messed up, basically, from wisdom teeth surgery. I feel like that'd be funny, but you know. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. If I am feeling all right, you're going to be seeing that video sometime soon. If not, don't even worry about it. Forget I said anything. Again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, leave a like on it and subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it. We're on the push of 60,000 subscribers, so I really do appreciate everybody that's joining up. Besides that, I'll see you guys later. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Both those links are down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Peace out.